Okay, as you adjust the capacity for balance charge, so this uh, this battery is one of the two S that I have at 6500, so I'm going to adjust to 6500. Okay, so this is 2S cell. I'm going to adjust uh, just to be safe. I, I still want to maintain in storage, so I'll just put it as low as possible. I'll put 2 amps here. What I want to show that it, it actually automatically adjusts the uh, the voltage cutoff. So now enter. Alright, so I'll start the charge and cycle through the uh, functions, right? The display. So on the left arrow, you can see that um, end voltage it shows 8.4 capacity cut off on at 6500 so this capacity cut off you will adjust according to the capacity that you have entered earlier on so you can see this capacity cut off 6500 mAh so as you adjust that capacity all right the, it will it will manage the the maximum cut off so these are all the other features that is uh, uh, on board here so it shouldn't be a problem even though Even though that uh, the other saf the other safety feature here, let me show it to you. Hang on, the screen is currently blank because it's resting on something. Okay. All right. It's back here. What I'll do is uh, I'll get to user settings. Okay, it's hard to shoot this. Where is it? Hang on, sorry, here on the left side. Lifey, Lilo, LIHV, NIMH, NICAT. Okay, user set. You can see this is user set here. So, user set as you press uh, enter. This goes through pre charge time. This is for safety purposes uh, for extremely uh, low discharge. Uh, batteries which currently is your case I think you should turn this feature on let's try that so I'm gonna turn this feature on okay hopefully this feature stays pre-charge time one minute and then uh, wait time charge discharge one minute nickel measure and I cat temperature cutoff is okay safety timer two hours um, sorry, 240 minutes is 4 hours. 4 hours it will, it will shut off on its own. This capacity cut off which is quite interesting. It's, it shows 5000 mAh here. But I don't know for, for which particular function. Because when you go to balance charge and you adjust the capacity, the capacity cut off as I showed you earlier on follows what you have uh, put into the settings. So this capacity cut off may be for the charge feature rather than the balance charge feature okay so this currently you can see my capacity cutoff point is on at 5000 mAh but it did not affect the balance charge earlier on so this one it doesn't it doesn't have any bearing on that situation so input power low voltage this is for the power supply of the charger right, key beep buzzer screen saver always off battery and voltage 4.2 for lipo which is correct and I do not know what this is this factory reset press enter to S so uh, all this seems fine bro so when you go to when you go back to uh, lipo battery enter back to balance charge so as long as you as long as you uh, change this capacity alright to the current battery capacity it should it should show uh, that the battery has a cut off at the same capacity here but if you plug in and you do not change this one and then it will be at then it will be at the default 5000 mAh so how do you cycle through to this okay so assuming I was on 3s at 5000 mAh okay okay so now this is the setting here all right now i'm charging whatever i'm charging say that 4s 6000 mah so press enter 4s change this back to 6000 
and then this guy bring the amps down to whatever amps you want to charge at. I tried charging at uh, 1C rating which is 6 amps, no problem. So yeah, whatever you want, say 0.5C, alright great. Press enter, plug in the batteries and then you're done. Okay, so I hope this will help because yours is a 4 port, uh, 4 port charger. You might have to do the settings for all 4 ports. You have to, you have to uh, experiment with it, okay? Alright, hope this will help.